Namaste. Welcome to the wellness session for the Nation Builders conducted by Unity Healing Foundation. Today we have with us Mr. Sandeep Pai, Principal of Surana Vidyalaya. Welcome to this session, sir. Uh, with the pandemic and the schools being closed, now the online classes are an unavoidable reality. With the online class, uh, we are finding that there is a blame game happening between the parent, teacher. The teachers are facing a lot of challenges, as all of us know. They have to hone their technology skills. And then taking online classes is really not an uh, easy job. There is a screen and tiny faces on the screen. And the teacher really doesn't know what is happening on the other side. At the same time, we have uh, parents who are again uh, anxious about their children not uh, performing well. And uh, the parents blaming the school and the teachers and so on. Uh, in this context, uh, how do we manage uh, or what is the role of the teacher? What is the role of the parent? Because we know at the end of the day, the child is a sufferer. So how do we manage this? Uh, uh, please guide us on this so that the parent and the teacher work in unison uh, for the welfare of the child. Now, welcome to you, sir. Namaste. I am Sandeep Payas, principal of Surana Vidyalaya, a CBSE school. Having met around 1500 to 2000 parents every year and training for more than 700 teachers with very limited experience, I am sharing few of my stories with you all. Now the first question as soon as we have shifted the classroom to online classroom lot of challenges come and these challenges are heterogeneous to the teachers so they have lot of questions so this is a small effort to find out what questions may be running in the mind and try answering it if it is answering your question well and good and if it is not answering your question you may as well write it to us we will definitely get back to you so question one now we feel parents do not have patience what do i do as a teacher i will like to share an instance with you all there was once a parent who came to my chamber very recently and said, I, my child has not learned the tables. I said, very easy, you know what the child has not learned, you can teach. But you know, unfortunately, parents do not have time to teach tables at home. So then they said, no, no, we wanted a school to take the responsibility. I casually asked one of the teachers who are handling the same class as to what is the level, why the child has not learned the tables. The teacher said, I already instructed about this and we have sent a message and she, with all proofs, showed that the homework was given to learn tables. The parent failed to see the message. So the teacher, it was easy for a teacher to complain that the parent was not on a responsive or a responsible mode. But the parent also said, okay, my child did not study. Then you as a teacher, what did you take action? so that the, my child will definitely learn because my child will not listen to me, my child will listen to you. So had I allowed more arguments to happen, there would have been a wonderful fight in my chamber. But that was finally addressed and we had to separate both. Dear friends, let us now see this scenario. Who is the sufferer? Is a parent sufferer? Or is a teacher sufferer? Or is a school suffering? Or are children suffering? Or is principal suffering? I tell you, all of us suffer. Why? 
because we don't understand that child's learning is shared responsibility it is shared between school teacher principal management parent one of the parent at least and the child if all these fail the suffering here is very less but the suffering for the child is maximum now the primary question comes then why should we run a school when a school cannot train child to learn the tables please understand there are lot of tantrums which teacher also goes through and then comes back to handle a class and therefore what i suggest with all my experiences it's a shared responsibility you need to have a proper dialogue with a teacher find out what i will be able to do and what is expected of school and same vice versa from the teacher as well have a clear communication find out the expected goal the expected goal is this is the task given and the parent has to take the responsibility of teaching the child whatever is on the daily basis dear friends if all of us shrug our shoulders and say this is not my responsibility i am not responsible for this then mind you sufferer is the child and that is not the outcome we all want that is not what a teacher wants then a parent may say why this school i will move to some other school then a teacher will say why this child i'll get some other child so teacher is also happy and is also is the parent but remember again sufferer is the child the child has to go to a new school get accustomed to a new atmosphere new principal new management new rules new learning atmosphere new friends this will have a bad bad very bad emotional effect on the child or a social socio emotional effect on the child on the long run it affects the child the next question which teachers generally ask i am paid only so much now in this scenario i am paid even lesser then why should i work so i always tell this please remember most of the teachers work because it's the satisfying job on the earth not because of the pocket size there are multiple options available in the society to increase your pocket size and i'm very sure most of the teachers do it as a service and whatever money they get is not definitely that substitutes their hard work it just to give as a compensatory or honorarium that's all a teacher's work cannot be substituted by money because she is a multitasker or he is a multitasker he or she does so many things a day about every child which cannot be substituted by any other job not possible impossible on earth so friends before we make that statement as teachers let us think i am here only to serve and whatever salary i am getting is not the salary for my job it is only an honorarium for the time that i am spending but it is it money cannot substitute my work is all we all have to learn and a parent must know you say you are earning so much and you have so much of time you unfortunately don't have time to spend time with the child please understand a teacher sitting at home cannot monitor your child's work who is spending more time with you at home and a teacher can is available only for one hour and in that one hour she cannot make heavens work over here impossible please understand that parents so i always tell this a parent a teacher and the child so you all have to understand it's a community work and when any one of the stakeholders fail to understand that this is a service oriented and it is community work there's a lot of tantrum either from parents or from teachers or from children or from all question 3 what is the role of a parent what and all a parent should do at home ye find out if you can record the class 
and find out what has happened in the class but not to pinpoint about the teacher's mistake but to find out what has happened and how you can guide the child. If you cannot sit with the child, maybe because you have work, then you can at least record the video, take the permission, record the video and then visit. If you are not able to do both, then you are forced to find out people who have actually sat in the other class or who know what has happened and make notes and then explain the child if your child is not able to communicate or if child is not communicating completely also. So what is the role of a parent? Find out what is the homework given and follow up every day whether the child is doing homework, whether the child is completing the notes, whether the child is doing mistakes in completing the notes. A teacher cannot see an image that you have sent taking a picture because many times there is a very blurred image. So we cannot correct every page of the classwork. It is impossible. But we cannot ask the child to send everything typed. Then what, happened, what happens to the writing skill, handwriting skill? Both quality of the handwriting is lost and writing skill only is lost. And therefore, the child has to write. What has to be written? That the school will decide and you will have to you know, pitch in, find out how best you can spend time together every day so that children will mark better in academics because of parent, because of teacher and because of the child, all three. The next question, so the parents enter the online classes sir, and say uh, they start shouting at us or they start quarreling with us or they gave instruction or they correct our mistakes. Now we all have to understand this problem very carefully. Parents, suppose you are working every time and I monitor, I keep a camera behind you to monitor as to what you are doing and then say, no, no, don't get up. No, no, don't go. Don't help the child. Now don't bother to feed your child. Now don't get up. Now complete this. Now submit this. If I keep giving you instructions, what would be your response? For your response, please undergo this. Ask someone to instruct you for one day, one hour and then please respond to me. You feel no problem? It's easy to say no problem, but experience that. That's my request to you. Experience that. Then you'll get to know what problem a teacher will undergo when you want to monitor what is the quality of the class the teacher has. Please understand that teacher has done her qualification. School would have definitely gone through the documents and then given the teacher's job. Nobody else on earth will blindly give a teacher's job to some Tom, Dick and Harry. They do the necessary credential verification. So a teacher who has done beard for two years is being valued for one minute. Is that how you want to evaluate? Then, if that is your argument, a teacher may also say, then sir, your child did not perform in one test. That is my assessment about your child over. Anybody on earth can easily wash away their hands. It's a moral responsibility of a parent not to disrespect anyone on the class, giving instructions to some other children online class or giving instructions to teacher, making a note of all mistakes, what the teacher is doing as if we, you, we all don't do any mistakes at all. We do mistakes and we get a chance to correct our mistakes. I request parents before complaining to a teacher, have a word separately with her. Ma'am, this is what I noted. Please correct me if I'm wrong. And if you feel that teacher is repeating the same mistakes, you can definitely escalate it to the necessary uh, authorities. But follow the escalation matrix properly. I feel a parent should never ever be allowed to talk in an online class. And what should a teacher do? Teacher should give a proper guidelines. Sorry, I am not going to listen to you. If a parent has started talking online for whatsoever reason. Today the parent may say, Ma'am, you, you my child loves your class. And with all smile you may say thank you. Tomorrow that the parent will definitely complain. So the teacher be extremely clear whether it is appreciation, applauds or complaints. None of these should reach you. It should reach you only through private chat 
or a private one to one talk over call apart from that there is no possibility that a parent should talk to you online for whatsoever ma'am what is the homework ma'am no i am not going to repeat the homework for a parent's sake i am not going to communicate to a parent at all i am going to communicate to the child and the child has to communicate to the parent because the child has to learn oral communicative skill communicating skills to the parent and this should be a regular discipline next question so what if there is incomplete work there is lot more that the child is not completing then what i what suggest generally to my teachers is win the heart of the child that's all if you win the heart of the child the child will automatically do even after winning the heart of the child how sir the teacher says how many hearts have to win sir it's too challenging and i understand that in that case find out if you can use online stickers which costs you nothing every time try motivating or sit with the child for additional hour it may be a punishment it may look as a punishment for you in the initial days but you do it more often over a period of time it reduces or you make the parent responsible keep communicating to the parent that the child is not completing the homework not completing the task assigned to the child the next question sir i don't know how to make silent they keep talking in the class my children do lot of mischief so you know find out all two or three minutes activity which finally will say silent you do activity 1 1 2 3 4 and after fifth activity be silent activity and one norm the mouse should be your uh, you know important tool for the online class so what should you do so you should keep muting the students every now and then keep muting keep muting always make it a habit find out if there are hands raising hands these two are the golden golden rules number 1 keep muting people and number 2 ensure whether the hands uh, the hands that have been raised have been addressed so simple do's and don'ts online sit with sufficient water next to you keep drinking water because your health matters nobody is going to bother about your health and then sit with all resources next to you a mother at home is like a teacher at school so a mother or a father and a teacher all put together add values to the children lives may god bless all the teachers let us start developing more patience both from teachers and school and parents and children and god bless all children thank you namaste thank you very much sir well very rightly said that it's a shared responsibility playing game doesn't work here well it is a community work it is a cooperative work between the teacher and the parent thank you very much sir uh, we did get a lot of uh, useful uh, information and uh, you clearly defined the role of the parent the responsibility of the parent and uh, there is no point in blaming the teacher or the teacher blaming the parent because finally at the end of the day all of us are working for the welfare of the child because it is these children we want them to bloom and these children will direct the future of india and its people thank you very much sir.